Hi everyone, it's Annie. I'm back. In today's lesson we are going to learn how to do this adorable little uh, pot holder or little placemat to put a cup on it, whatever you want to do it. Okay, this is what it looks like on the back. It has a little holder up here. And for this, I'm going to use in today's lesson this yarn. Okay, and I also have this one in white. You are going to need your scissors. And I am going to use my hook, which is a 3.5. You guys can't see it. It's a 3.5. There you go. 3.5. For me, if you crochet too tight, you could go up a hook size to a four if you like. Okay, let's move this out of the way. And I'm going to start with my white yarn. I'm going to start with a magic circle. But if you're not comfortable with a magic circle, you can chain four or five and start from there. Okay? So we're going to do a magic circle. And we are going to go up one and two and inside our magic circle we are going to crochet 12 double crochet with the three chains that we went up will be 13 double crochet okay this will be the first and then we're going to crochet 12 with the beginning th two chains will be 13 again if you're not comfortable with the magic circle you could crochet you could go up through four to five chains close it and do your 13 um, double crochets in there. Okay, that's round one. Go all the way around and I'll be right okay, back. So here's my 13 double crochet. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull this to, to close that up. And I'm going to do a color change next, okay? So we just slip stitch to the top of that double crochet. Okay, and there we go. Cut your yarn because I'm doing a color change. Okay, <clears throat> and then close that up, and then I'll be right back with a different color to do row okay. number two. So I cut my yarn, and this is what we should have. I took my other color here, and what are we gonna do is we are going to crochet in between, see, in between the double crochets right here. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's bring my yarn. Hold on a second. I hope everybody can see it because I know it's white. Okay, I'm gonna come up through there. We're gonna go up. Sorry, we're gonna go up three. One, two, three. Go back in the same space and put three double crochets. That's two, one more, three. We should have four double crochet with the beginning chain. Okay, let me bring everybody in a little bit closer so you can see. Okay, we have four double crochet. Now we're going to turn around, flip it. We're going to go in the space here, the first double crochet. See? First double crochet. And we're going to slip stitch and go up two. One, two. Turn around. Go back into this next space right here. To the space between the double crochet, put there four double crochet. One, two, three, and four. Okay, we got four double crochet. Flip it around. And this time, I'm going to go into the space that we just created right there. See the space right there? that we just created and we're going to slip stitch. Go up two. One, two. Okay, so we should be getting something that looks like this. Something that looks like that. Let's do one more. Now find your next space right there. I'm going to put four double crochet in your next space right there. Okay, so one, Two, three, and four. 
turn around find those that chain two that you just did right there and slip stitch go up to one two and that's what you're going to do all the way around okay so get yours done I'll get mine and I'll be right back all right so this is what everybody should have at this point she looks something like this okay and to end this row we're just going to go to the top here you're going to find that hole right there and you're going to slip stitch I'm changing colors okay so I'm going to cut my yarn tie that tie that off okay move that out of the way we could just weave in those later and I'm going to grab my next color okay well, let me grab my next color everyone okay and this time we are going in we are going in crochet in between those spaces that we just created right here okay so I'm gonna go in there I already did my knot okay we're gonna go up three one two three count as our first double crochet let me grab my tails in the same space do another double crochet chain one and two more double crochet in that space okay and then you're going to go to your next space double crochet two double crochets now my yarn got tangled up chain one two more double crochet in that space we're doing V stitches okay like this back into the space right here two double crochets chain one two more double crochet in the same space that's the pattern for this row. Go back into the space, two double crochets. Chain one and two double crochet. Okay, so this is your pattern for this row. Go all the way around and I'll be all right back. So everyone should have something that looks like this. And to end this row, we're just gonna slip stitch slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet okay and the next row is a repeat we're gonna walk to that space we're gonna slip stitch in between the space and just go up three double crochet in the space chain one two double crochet in the same space it's a repeat of the row that we just did okay and then you go in the next space right so that's what you're gonna do this one is a repeat of the row that we just did so go all the way around and I'll meet everybody over here alright for this row everybody should have something that looks like this okay and we're just gonna close with a slip stitch to the top of that double crochet and walk with a slip stitch to the next to the space right here Okay, we're gonna crochet, uh, chain one and go up two. And this, the only difference here is we're gonna do three double crochets. Okay, so we have put two double crochet in the space and the, the chains to go up made three. Chain one and three double crochet in the space. Should have something that looks like this. Okay, in the next space right here, put three double crochets, two, and three, chain one, and three more double crochets in that space. This is an increase row. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. So we just started, now we're doing three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, next space right here, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. That's the pattern for this row.
go all the way around it and I'll be right back. All right, so we should have something that looks like this at this point. And we're just going to close with a slip stitch to the top of that double crochet from the previous row. Walk with a slip stitch to the space here. I have two loops, single crochet, go up two. And now we're going to do two more double crochet. chain two, go back in the space, put three double crochet, okay the only difference in this row is we're going to chain two in between, go back into the space here, do three double crochets, two, three, chain two, Go back in the same space, three double crochets. We're doing an increase, but the increase now is in the chains. Now we're doing two chains in between. Okay, so we should have something that looks like this. Here we did one chain, now we're adding two chains in between. Okay, so we go back in the space right here, three double crochets, one, two, and three, chain two, back in the same space, three double crochets. Okay, so this is the pattern for this row. Go all the way around and I'll meet everybody back over here. Okay, and this row we should have something that looks like this at the end. And we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that double crochet. This is another increase row. We are going to walk to the space. Walk, we're in the space, two loops, single crochet, go up two. Now we're going to put four double, three double crochet, two and three, and with that beginning row right here, it will be four double crochet chain two, back into the space and put four double crochets, two, three, and four. So now we're going to have four, okay, next space, four double crochets, two, three, four, chain two and we're going to go back into the space four more double crochets one two three and four and that's what this row looks like okay now we're doing four double crochets that's the row go all the way around I'll be right back All right. We should have something that looks like this at the end of this row. We are going to just slip stitch to the top of the double crochet right here. And we are going to walk to the middle with a slip stitch, slip stitch, the middle, two loops, single crochet, go up two. This is an increase row. I'm going to do one double crochet inside, two, three, four, and with the beginning chains will be five, chain two, go back in the space and put five double crochets in there. That will be two, three, four, and five. I have something that looks like this. Next space, go inside, put five double crochets, two, three, four, and five, chain two, go back in the space, one, two, two, three, four, 
and five. That is the pattern for this row. Five double crochet, chain two, five double crochet in each space. Go all the way, I'll be right back. Alright everyone, so at the end of this row we should have something that looks like this. This is what it looks like. So I did my last five double crochet, chain two, five double crochet. Here we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that double crochet and cut your yarn. Okay, and you can weave in your tails later. So, this is what we have so far. Okay, so we have the base now. We have the base here. Now, we are going to start to do all of these right here. Okay, and the way that we do that, you go back to whatever color you were working on. I'm bringing back my white. Okay, let me do my beginning knot okay and I'm gonna bring everybody in closer so you can see what I'm doing all right so you see these spaces right here this space right here this is where we're gonna start okay so I'm gonna go in there and I grab a space I'm gonna go in there right here okay <clears throat> let me grab my yarn and you're gonna slip, slip stitch oh sorry slip stitch and chain one okay gonna have to work it out let's pull that yarn back that tail back and that tail back so we won't get it confused okay at it all right then we're gonna go to the next space right here right here see right there and we are going to slip stitch oh let's get it in there and chain one okay so this is what it should look like and let me zoom you guys out a little bit okay that was too close all right now you see the spaces, let me get my, see the spaces here in between this chain one, chain two, chain three. That's what we're going to do. We are going to go up that way, okay? The way we do that, see the first space over here, right there? So we're going to slip stitch and chain one. Okay, for the next space up, we're gonna slip stitch, chain one. Next space up, it's like an uncomfortable angle. Slip stitch, chain one, up, slip stitch, chain one. Next one, slip stitch chain one and we're here at the top okay all right so we made it to the top here and on the top the last one we're gonna do a slip stitch and chain one okay so everybody should have something that looks like this okay let me get you bring you guys in closer okay now the next step we are going to do this. See that chain right there? Oh, hold on. Mine came out. Sorry. Okay. Now you're going to have to twist your work. Okay. You see that chain, those two chains that we just did right there? You are going to slip stitch. Whoa. Hold on. Okay slip stitch and I lost it let's do it again it's very uncomfortable doing it with the camera slip stitch there we go got it next one slip stitch so we're gonna go all the way down those chains that we just did in the slip, in the slip stitch see we're gonna go down slip stitch I'd rather do it sideways like this so I know where they go see 
and slip stitch the next one right here slip stitch next one hold on got all tangled up right here next one slip stitch and slip stitch so it should be looking something like this that's what that's what make those edges like this see okay go to the end and I'll be right back to show you guys how to All do right. the next so one. Uh, I made it here to the end and this is the last one right here and you also gonna slip stitch into that one okay okay so we open it up and we should have something that looks like this and what do we do now we are going to go we're gonna chain one here oh hold on I missed I miss one more. Let's go back in there. See this last one right here? That one's hiding from me. Go all the way to the end and you're gonna slip stitch. See that one that we just did at the beginning? Okay, there we go. So here we're gonna chain one and we're going to move to our next petal right here. Oh, sorry guys. We're going to move to our next petal right here. Okay, and we are going to slip stitch, chain one. Okay, now we are going to go back here. See in between those, in between, that's where we're going, right there, in between, in between, in between. Okay, so this is the first row, go in between there, and you're going to slip stitch, chain one. Next one, right here. Slip stitch, chain one. Next one, keep going up. Slip stitch, chain one. Next one. I hope everybody can see. Slip stitch chain one see now we're going back up again okay keep going up next one here we're gonna slip stitch and chain one and we made it to the top slip stitch chain one so we should have something that looks like this okay now we're going back down and going back down, what we are going to do, I always like to hold it like this. We're going back down with whatever we just made right here. And we're going to slip stitch. It's hard to grab. Hold on a second. Okay, so go in there. We just made that. And okay, it doesn't want to work. Let's go. Let's go here, okay, slip stitch, next space, slip stitch, now go all the way down doing those slip stitch that we just came, that, the one that we just crocheted going up. So that's what we're going to do, every space, every slip stitch and chain one, we're just going to go down, okay, all the way to the end. Now let me grab my yarn again and this is the last one here last one here on the slip stitch okay and you open it up and this is what we get that's how I get those edges and then for the next one you're gonna chain one and go in here and go up again and go up this is what's gonna make all of these ridges right here okay this was going to make all these ridges right here. That's how the way you make them. All these ridges, all these ridges right here. Okay? So go all the way around here, making all your ridges. Go all the way around, go all the way around. And then I'm going to do mine off camera like this. And then I'll be back when I have all the way around. So we could do this finishing edges here and do a little loop. I'll be right, right back. So we're down to the last row. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to do 
these edges up here and these are just single crochet so I'm going back to my white and you could start let me bring you guys closer and you could start wherever you want I'm gonna start here I'm gonna grab my yarn grab my yarn okay pull your yarn chain one go weave in that tail now you're gonna do is single crochet in each space you're gonna do single crochet all the way around in the space here it's up to you in the space you could do one single crochet or you could do two I'm gonna do one but you're more than welcome to do two so go all the way around with a single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet so it looks like this so far okay and when you're gonna switch from one space to another just keep going single crochet it doesn't matter that's all you're doing just single crochet all the way around to get that edge okay back into the space you could do one single crochet or you could do two single crochet that decision is up to you so it's gonna look like this okay that's the way it looks okay see so go all the way around I'm gonna do mine off camera and I'll be right back alright everyone so at the end you should have something that looks like this okay and then to finish this out I'm in my last single crochet and to finish it out here see I'm in my last single crochet what you do is go in your first double crochet single crochet sorry that you did take this loop pull it back that way the end is in the back cut your, cut your yarn close it out do your knot do your knot and weave in your tails or your tails in the back weave them in <coughs> okay and there you have it this is the end result of our project today and oh you know what guys I forgot to do the hook the hook will be like this let me get my yarn back on and I'll show you how to All do right, the hook alright everyone so with, this is what we should have at the end of our edges something that looks a little bit like this Okay, I don't know what color you might be doing yours, but this is what mine looks like. So here, all I did was, <clears throat> I did my last double crochet, my sorry, my single crochet. And then I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18 okay so we're gonna go up 18 okay and then you're gonna come here where you started right here where you started okay <coughs> and you are going to single crochet and then you're gonna flip it and now you're gonna go back up doing single crochet up that chain Let's do that again. I got tangled up. So you're gonna go, turn it around, go back in there. And you're gonna single crochet. Go back in there, single crochet. And you're gonna go back doing single. Sorry, I was off focus. I think. And you all gonna do just single crochet in that chain that you just did to make your handle a little bit stronger. Okay. So do all your single crochet on that chain and we'll be right back to finish all right. up. So I did all my single crochet here and the way you guys are going to close is you're just going to go behind here and you're going to do a slip stitch and everybody cut your yarn, pull that through and weave in your tails later and there you have it. Let me fix it up. Let me get this out of the way. You're going to weave in your tails later on. There's your hoop. There's your project. 
This is the original. This is the one that we did together. This is the original. And now we have two. If you guys also want to make it, you could sew them together like this to make it a little bit stronger. So there you go. That's our lesson for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see everyone at the next one. Bye. See you soon.